This company is run by an evil, faceless executive, squeezing every penny they can from children, becoming so hungry for money that they threaten to sue the parents of a dead child for copyright infringement on their four-year-old's grave, all because the grave was, quote, ruining the innocence of its brand. And you see, you'd never hear this story in the mainstream media or news, because this company has amassed so much power that it controls one-sixth of the US's total media landscape. But trust me when I say that it only gets so much worse from here, as this company has fully submitted themselves to the ruthless dystopian dictatorship of China by openly thanking the people behind the ongoing Uyghur genocide in China, and are now even apologizing for accidentally recognizing Taiwan as an independent state. So it shouldn't be any surprise that they literally removed black people from their adverts, all while forcing the entire company and staff to take anti-racism training. Can you guess who this company is? Well, it's a tragedy what Disney has become.